Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to do a comparison with buy sell um, versus leverage trading. What's the pros and cons with it and how do you get started if you are new in the space and whatsoever. So before we get started, um, this is sub just like a guide that are uh, at my own personal op uh, experience and opinion towards this um, kind of crypto trading or whatsoever. This is not any professional final, uh, financial advice or whatsoever trading guides or signal. This is just basically not professional advice not professional guide just my just an educational video so before we get started subscribe to the channel if you have not uh turn on post notification and leave a thumbs up to the uh, this video thank you very much and let's get started so basically i've made a powerpoint out of it so basically what is buy slash sell versus leverage trading so as you can see over here i highlighted no professional financial advice just an education video and my own personal experience so if you are not subscribed kindly subscribe please and of course, I'm going to link this down below and all the links that you will need to get started is on this PowerPoint. So you can click on the PowerPoint and from there, yeah, basically have a look on what you can click on. So basically, if you are new here, new to the space, the crypto space, and you are keen to earn some profit or let's say get into crypto, basically uh, what you need to do that first is basically very easy. So you need to exchange fiat, your US dollar, whatever uh, currency that you're using now into cryptocurrency so what crypto would you like to buy is up to you but i will suggest bitcoin because bitcoin is the king of all crypto therefore yeah basically bitcoin is when bitcoin uh have a, has a rally bitcoin always goes up first and after that followed by other altcoin therefore yeah this is just like a pers uh, personal preference that i will share with you guys buy bitcoin if you are keen into getting the space keen into getting the space and get started like let's say trading but of course you need to have some education on what is trading and whatsoever but this is not a video about it basically this is just a video on guide how you can get started and from there you have to do your own research and stuff you can look up on my channel if there is some relevant uh, relevant guide or whatsoever so basically what do you need to do first first you need to buy a uh, crypto from coinbase if you are uh, in the us or whatsoever so Coinbase support quite uh quite a lot of country, therefore you are able to buy crypto using Coinbase. But it has removed Singapore recently, therefore I have introduced CoinHako. So if you are living in Asia, let's say Indonesia, um, uh, Indonesia, Vietnam, Singapore, Malaysia, you are able to use CoinHako. Therefore CoinHako is a uh, another exchange uh, similar to Coinbase. I would say basically just click and buy, very simple to use, and uh, local Bitcoin if let's say coinbase and coinhako isn't an option for you to exchange fiat to crypto you are able to use local bitcoins so i would suggest this basically you can buy anything uh buy crypto with anything that has value let's say gift cards or whatsoever you can look it up and from there see whichever deal is uh for you you can go go ahead with it so secondly you will need to have exchange uh this exchanges account that i'm doing this guide with so basically I will recommend Binance for crypto to crypto trading. So basically, you are going to do buy sell in Binance. So basically, I'm going to explain to you what's the pros and cons. And if you are keen on leverage trading or whatsoever, BitMEX is the only one for you, I would suggest. Uh, I will recommend, of course. And after that, let's say if you are you have signed up for these two accounts and you are getting uh, getting uh, started, um, let's say if you bought, let's say $1,000 worth of uh, Bitcoin in Coinbase or whatsoever exchange, where do you need to store it? I will not recommend on Coinbase or CoinAco or local Bitcoin because they are, uh, the private keys over there is not your keys, so not your private keys, not your money. Therefore, do not put it on exchanges like Coinbase, CoinAco, local Bitcoin, Binance or BitMEX. So basically, if you are going to do trading or whatsoever, yes, you can send the Bitcoins over towards this exchange to do your trades or whatsoever. But I will recommend storing it in a ledger, a hardware wallet which is quite popular. I have done a video about it. It's going to pop above. And after that, Trezor. Trezor is another hardware that I love as well. And after that, if you are cost these two options, it is super uh, super secure. And of course, yeah, basically they cost money. So a ledger, the cheapest is around 99 Singapore dollars if I'm not wrong. And for Trezor, it's 100 over or 70 plus. I'm not sure. Uh, if these two options isn't uh, good for you because it's your money basically you do not want your money to get stolen or your pc to get hacked or whatsoever so the another alternative that i will recommend is using the software wallet um exodus which i have linked it down over here you can click on it and from there yeah download the software wallet to store your bitcoin but bear in mind if your computer has a virus or whatsoever 
peop, um, the hackers are able to keylock your computer um, or let's say you have virus they are able to spy on you and from there they are able to get your private keys and once the private keys they ask, is on their hands basically your crypto is gone and after that the next thing that you want to do after storing and let's say you make some gains or whatsoever the fourth step is spending them so how do you spend them spend them basically changing it to fiat so basically for people who are not able to use coinbase coin hako um, the option is local bitcoins to sell sell to people over there with a market margin of maybe five to ten percent from there uh, you can set your rates and after that uh, coinbase which is just a single click and you can sell your crypto towards fiat towards your bank account and for coinhako as well sim uh, simple and for crypto.com it is something that i've not mentioned on buying you are able to buy with crypto.com but i will not suggest you buying with crypto.com because um, you, are, you are able to use your credit card slash um, debit card but there's a fee occurred so basically i won't recommend uh, using crypto.com to buy uh, crypto but you're able to sell crypto and let's say if you're in singapore and uh, the united states these two countries the united states they are going to launch their uh, debit card over there therefore you're able to use this towards your benefit uh, to an advantage so basically if you're in singapore you're in luck so basically you can have the debit card and after that from there sell it towards into the prepaid card debit card and from there you're able to use uh, contactless payment with visa with crypto.com so basically this is just a brief summarize so basically what is buy and sell introduction so basically um you are going to so basically buy and sell is um to make it clear i already stated the note over here basically going to an exchange to buy bitcoin at at the x price so basically x meaning let's say seven thousand eight hundred dollars uh at this price let's say you're gonna buy one thousand of it so basically it's going to show you 0 0.1 plus 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 bitcoin and after that um, what do you do to do next is sell the bitcoin at a higher price that you bought in so let's say if you bought at 7800 you have to sell bitcoin at 7800 and above because uh, bear in mind uh binance has a one percent fee therefore a 0 0.1 percent fee therefore you have to take 7800 times 0 0.1 percent of the fee for you to because when you buy it uh, you, let's say you use uh, Bitcoin uh, to buy something else and after that from there you have to use uh, for crypto if you are doing crypto to crypto so let's say it's Bitcoin towards uh, stablecoin or Bitcoin towards Ethereum you are able to yeah basically the price over there is going to show you 0 0.000 um, let's say one Satoshi or 1000 Satoshi for buying repo or whatsoever so you're going to use Bitcoin to buy at the x price so basically you can do it on an exchange as well so let's say you're using coinhako or coinbase basically let's say you bought bitcoin at eight thousand dollars and from there you have to sell your bitcoin at eight thousand hundred dollars and above to make some profit off of it definitely and after that the uh, you need to have more money more fiat to do this because um the bigger the value of bitcoin that you have bought at a price and after that selling off at a higher price is going to give you a higher return so let's say if you are going to buy let's say bitcoin is at 8000 right now you buy 80000 worth of bitcoin therefore you have 10000 uh 10 bitcoins and from there you need to sell it off at 9000 so basically your gains is yeah uh maybe 10000 or i don't know the calculation so basically uh, let's say you have 10 Bitcoin, the price of Bitcoin goes to 9,000, increased by 1,000, so you have profited off 1,000 on each Bitcoin you have. Therefore, you need to have, um, I would say, large uh, value to make insane gains quickly. Um, let's say, yeah, basically you need to have lots of fiat to purchase large amount of Bitcoin and from there sell it at a higher price. Uh, and after that the profit is going to be visible quickly but if you are going to do let's say you have only a hundred dollar to start with um, you should you can do buy and sell but i would not really recommend it because you need a lot of time and focus on the chart and whatsoever you have to know how to read the chart uh, do some analysis but basically you can do uh, something like pure luck so basically let's say the bitcoin price has dumped to seven thousand so basically you bought at seven thousand and after that from there the price suddenly raise up to 8,000 and you sell it off and you did not do any chart analysis or whatsoever this is just basically pure luck it's gambling but if you do some analysis and you know how to read a chart or whatsoever you have a slightly higher chance to yeah basically profit off with your buy and sell of crypto and after that the next thing i'm going to talk about is leverage trading so basically what is leverage trading you need to 
this definitely you need to have some bitcoin to do this so basically you buy the bitcoins and you send it off to bitmax the exchange that i recommended to do leverage trading so basically you enter a short or long position example 7800 of bitcoin with a leverage of example 10x so basically what is this so i'm going to explain to you what's leverage so let's say you only have 100 dollars worth of bitcoin and after that you are using 10 times leverage meaning um that $100 is going to multiply by 10 and from there you are able to set a bet of $1,000 uh, worth of Bitcoin that you're going to purchase. Uh, let's say you're going to do a long or short position. Basically, you enter a position and after that, either you choose long or short. So if you are choosing short, basically you are hoping for the price of Bitcoin to tank and from there, the price of Bitcoin tanks, you are able to earn some profits off of it just by doing leverage so let's say using a hundred dollars you're going to do a 10 time leverage and after that you are basically purchasing um, 10 times more value of that hundred dollars and from there yeah basically this is how we did very simple to understand so the pros and cons of uh, buy and sell crypto to crypto or fiat to crypto and versus leverage trading so basically the buy and sell the first uh the first pro i'm going to talk about is you are able to keep the crypto forever meaning if you purchase a uh, Bitcoin at 8,000 and after that you do not, uh, if the price tanks or tanks to 20 or let's say 100 and basically if you do not sell it off, you are able to keep the crypto there but the value has already dropped significantly but from there, you are, remember, you are able to keep your crypto forever so basically you can hold it off till Bitcoin goes to 80,000 or even a million basically you are still holding your Bitcoin forever and you are profiting off of it once the value increases or whatsoever so basically if you buy whatever crypto with your fiat or bitcoin you are able to keep them forever but the cons for leverage trading is you are going to lose everything on liquidation so basically what does that mean so if you are going to do a leverage of 10 times so i'm going to show it to you here so basically over here um, let's say you're going to en uh, enter let's say you only have hundred dollars so basically you do a 10 times leverage so you are able to enter one thousand over here and from there you can use this one thousand dollars to set a, a sell or a buy a long or short position you are entering it so basically a 10 time leverage is gonna do a liquidation price of 700 i mean 7155 so as you can see the value over here so let's say you've entered a position of this and after that the i'm just gonna show the calculator so liquidation price so let's say you're gonna enter a position of one uh one thousand dollars worth of bitcoin Let's say you enter it at 7,900 and you are doing a long and the leverage is 10 times. So liquidation price is already calculated for you. So basically, if you are, um, let's say, let's say the price of Bitcoin hits these numbers over here, 7148.5. Basically, your position is gone, liquidated, meaning you are going to lose everything. All the Bitcoins that you have bet uh, on this uh, position, therefore, it's going to be long, uh, gone, liquidated. So basically, what you need to do to prevent it is do a, a trailing stop, if not a stop limit, but I'm not going to explain to it to you here. But in the future, I'm going to do a video about this. So you are able to yeah, basically hit the subscribe button and the bell and you will know the next uh, video that I'm going to make. So basically, liquidation price is scary because if the price hits below this or hits on this spot, basically all your position is gone. So as you can see over here, the position is over here. So if i reach this liquidation price over here of 7155.5 basically all my crypto is gone so yeah over here the value uh because i use a 10 times leverage so the value is higher and after that uh, how much have i put in so basically 0 0.5 bitcoin onto this position of thirty thousand thirty seven thousand dollars worth of bitcoin so as you can see you can use uh let's say hundred dollars and you are able to place position in with a uh, thousand dollar worth of value so as you can see here 0 0.5 bitcoin gives me a, a 10 time leverage i'm basically purchasing uh, i have somehow a value of 4.6 bitcoin and after that if the price keep going uh, going up so over here so as you can see i entered the price is 83 i mean 87830 uh, and the exit price uh, let's say bitcoin is uh, going to hit 8000 so basically, if I hit 8,000 and a 10 time leverage, as you can see, the profit and loss over here, this is uh, in Bitcoin value. So basically, I'm going to earn 0 0.1 Bitcoin with the position I have, the quantity. So basically, this is somehow like a leverage trading. Uh, so this is the pros and cons. Buy, uh, 
buying and selling, you can keep the crypto forever, but leverage trading, you're going to lose everything on liquidation price. And after that, um, as you can see over here, the pros and cons that I put over here, the hoping it goes up and sell. So basically, I would say this is somehow like a like a con because you are entering a price of Bitcoin of 7,800, let's say example, and the price tanks, you are somehow somewhat already losing that uh, percentage of value when the price goes down. But bear in mind the pros is you can keep the crypto forever. So somehow this is neutral, I would say. And for leverage trading, you can hope for it to go down or up before closing the position. So basically this is a pro, I would say. So basically on the exchange crypto to crypto, we are basically just a, only able to do a buy uh, at this price. And after that, when the price goes up, okay, you make profit and the price goes down, you get angry and sulky. But for leverage trading, you are able to bet it. So basically, this is betting. So you are able to bet the price of Bitcoin going down. So let's say you enter a position of, let's say, 8,000, 8,100. And of course, you see the chart over here. Yeah, somehow Bitcoin is at, uh, at a peak. And after that, you your guts is telling you that basically, oh, Bitcoin is going to tank from there because it's somehow at the highest point, at the highest peak. And you are going to bet a short. Uh, you are going to do a short position. So basically, you do a short of, let's say, uh, $1,000. Uh, with your hundred dollars and from there the price of bitcoin drops and then stuff and you are able to gain bitcoins out of the short position therefore this is somehow like a pro i would say if you are buying crypto basically you are hoping for it to go up but if, if it doesn't goes up let's say people in 2017 um that bought at 20k of uh, 20k worth of bitcoin basically they are not able to make back the amount that they have lost but if they keep holding on Yes, basically after two years of holding or maybe three years down the road, they are able to make profits. After that, if Bitcoin grows uh, above 20k at the buy price. So yeah, basically it's a long game. If you if the price that you have entered is uh, has dropped significantly, basically what you can do, just hope for it to go up and pray. But for leverage, you are able to do a, a down position meaning sell. And after that, from there, you are able to make profit off with your Bitcoin if you put a... Uh, a short position yeah and after that for the next cons that i'm going to talk about is limit limited on funds on funding so basically buy and sell crypto that's uh you can't lend from the broker or whatsoever so basically what you're going to do yeah let's say you only have one thousand dollars to invest uh let's say you only have hundred dollars so you have hundred dollars to invest in bitcoin only so you are basically going to buy hundred dollars of bitcoin and from there you hope the price of bitcoin times 10 so basically you're going to use the hundred dollars and after that if the price of bitcoin uh, 10x you are able to make a profit of 10x basically it's sim uh, simple enough but your hundred dollars will eventually once bitcoin 10x uh, basically you're earning a profit thing of 900 dollars and after that yeah basically 100 dollar in, uh, initial investment cap in a pocket and then 900 dollars you're gonna do a uh, invest again uh if you're not going to do like let's say day trading basically day to day you're gonna look at a chart and of finance and looking for the price uh, looking at which price is good to buy and sell and basically it's gonna be very time consuming and yeah sometimes the price of it doesn't goes up so you might do some stop loss meaning your hands might be weak and you are gonna just basically let's say you bought at 8,000 and the price of Bitcoin is at 8, 000, uh, 7,500 basically you are gonna do a sell at 7, uh, 7,500 to make up some of your loss so basically you are not losing entirely everything but to be honest on crypto the price would I will say it will not go goes to zero because yeah basically it is a value that us user give it to it so basically yeah who wants to buy Bitcoin at this price people is gonna bid and sell and from there the price is going to up or down uh, depending on how much people are willing to pay for that one Bitcoin and after that yeah, basically the price i will say it will not go to zero so basically if the price uh because this is like fiat so basically fiat let's say you have one dollar worth of um, us dollar you can hold it but inflation is going to take place and your value of your spending power is going to be uh, reduced as well therefore for buy and sell the cons is limited on funds you are not able to make insane profit with your limited of funds but i do not advise leverage trading if you are not really First, I would say you go and do some uh, day trading, buy and sell, uh, learn 
learn the basics from some youtuber out there and from there you are able to do some basics buy and sell and yeah see how does it go for you if you are interested you can do leverage because on leverage you need to know how does the platform work so for binance it's a good start for you to yeah spend hundred dollars to test uh in your tradings and after that from there you can head on to leverage if you are keen to so basically on leverage you can use multiple uh, you can leverage uh, to multiple investments. So basically, you can do a 10x, 25x, 100x, or 200x on Bitcoin uh, futures. So basically, over here, let's say you only have $100 worth of Bitcoin you deposit in, it's going to show you a 0. Point something Bitcoin. And from there, you are able to do a 10x leverage and enter the buy price or whatsoever. So basically, you are borrowing money from BitMEX. But uh, bear in mind, on traditional stock market, you are able to uh, do leveraging, but if the stock price uh, tanks or whatsoever, you have to pay up to the broker uh, this X amount that you have lost monthly and interest rate occurred. But on by uh, BitMEX, uh, there's no such thing like you owe that money or whatsoever. So basically your position is there. Once, liquid, uh, once it hit the liquidation price, basically everything is gone. And after that, yeah, basically you won't have somebody knocking on your door say hey, you have uh, borrowed let's say 10,000 worth of uh, US dollar to buy Bitcoin and from there you need to pay up to us but Binance, uh, I mean BitMEX does not have this kind of system it make it uh, makes the users safe that's why I am yeah using Binance, uh, I mean BitMEX to do leverage trading because of this thing at first I was skeptical because leveraging I know that people in the traditional stock market get hurt got hurt before the by looting uh, do, do, doing leverage trading so basically how do people make money is on leverage trading the higher the risk the higher the profit so basically leveraging is using other people's money to invest therefore yeah basically you get the effects so basically uh, on buy and sell you are using your own money to buy and sell and the profit is not much because let's say you have hundred thousand dollars you are not you are not possibly going to use the $100,000 to invest in crypto because you know nothing about it and you do not know how to. But if you are willing to put in the, F, uh, the time and effort to study about crypto, yeah, maybe you can make some insane gains with it. But let's say you have uh, $10,000, let's say you have $100,000, you use $10,000 to do it on leverage with a 10x. Basically, you are, own, you are using $100,000 or worth of US dollar to buy crypto to bet on long or short and after that from there make profit but bear in mind the risk is high therefore yeah if you are new start with buy and sell first and from there see how does it go if it doesn't suit you basically what I what would I advise and uh, my own personal opinion basically just buy Bitcoin just hold for two to three years and after that see the price if the price uh, is reasonable and you want to take some gains yeah just sell your bitcoin and from there you have already made some gains but for leverage if you are looking for i would say leverage is somehow like looking for quick bucks basically for people who want you who are desperate and want to make insane gains with um crypto yeah leverage is your only choice i would say because you can use hundred dollar to multiply it by 100 100 times of course, the higher you, the higher leverage that you use, the higher liquidation price is gonna be. So let's say 10k, uh, 10 times leverage uh, liquidation is 7155. If I place it at 25 times, so as you can see, uh, I click 25. So as you can see, the liquidation price is gonna, it's gonna change. So as you can see, liquidation price is at 7560. So the higher you use, the higher the liquidation price is gonna increase. Therefore, I will not recommend. Maybe 10x is the best or 5x i would say for beginners i would say maybe 1 or 2x but uh, basically just use 2x because the liquidation price is going to be low but i do not have that enough crypto to make um, a 2x so basically if you enter a position of 10x and you only have 100 dollars if you place a buy order at 100 uh, 1000 dollars and you do not have additional funds to bring down the leverage yeah so basically choose your leverage wisely if you are using if you are like me uh, going all in so basically I use 10k uh, 10 10x and using 0.5 Bitcoin to bet on it if I want to go five times let's say the liquidation price falls uh, it's gonna reach this level over here and I'm scared uh, basically if you have double of Bitcoin let's say you use $50 to invest you are able to set a uh, five times so bring the leverage backwards and you are able to reduce the liquidation so liquidation price basically the risk the risk you're gonna decrease it by uh, half and after that from there 
yeah if you have more crypto let's say you use hundred dollars you only bet like maybe 10 or 20 dollars you can bring the leverage down to 2x or 3x and the liquidation price is gonna fall so basically this is somehow a tip for you if you are gonna do leverage trading but if you are not familiar with this this thing over here limit order uh, market order stop or uh, stop market or whatsoever over here stop limit trade uh, trailing stop if you are not familiar do not invest in uh, leverage trading big max because you're just gonna hurt yourself so basically it's a long-winded video so basically it's the end of the video hope you like the video leave a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on post notification and i hope this guide um, help you out uh, let's say if you are keen in getting into crypto if you are not going to do binance trading or whatsoever crypto trading basically you just want to buy some bitcoin hold it and tell your friends that you bought some bitcoin at this price and from there yeah basically hold one or two years and the the best bet i would say buy from coinbase coin hako if not local bitcoin and from there hold on to your bitcoin storing them on a ledger or trezor if you are going long term please buy a hardware wallet if not if you are using a software wallet basically your fund is gonna be gone within one or two years depending on the rate of you clicking on the accidentally clicking on an ad or a link that is faulty and malicious and from there you're gonna lose everything if you are using a software wallet that's gonna hold your bitcoin for one or two years so basically not a good deal if you're gonna do like monthly savings with bitcoin or crypto basically buy a ledger or a trezor it's your best bet because it has the higher security nobody can get your private keys only you so that's the end of this video and i'm gonna post um leverage trading uh guides and whatsoever tips and guides and how do you do it because i'm somehow familiar with the leverage trading already because basically last time i have done leverage trading but i'm not so used to it and i made a guide therefore yeah i'm going to do another uh more advanced guide on big max so that's all for this video please please subscribe turn on post notification leave a thumbs up that's all for this video